good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. Sandy here. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you subscribe, like, give a thumbs up, and click that notification bell. It's always important. Today, I was busy planting, even though the snow was going sideways here in Wyoming. Now the sun has come out, but then in another hour, the clouds are supposed to come back and we're supposed to have some more snow. It isn't really sticking to the ground though, which is nice. It's about 31 degrees. It's going to be cold tonight, 28. So there'll be some frost in the morning, especially with that moisture going on there. Hopefully all my fruit trees will be perfectly fine. The pears are pretty hardy. They've gotten snow on before. The apples aren't quite open with the blossoms. The plums, the wild plums, they're open, but they're hardy too. So it should be a bumper crop. I hope so anyway. But I was busy planting indoors. I was, I did my hydroponics. I'm gonna show you some of that. I did some planting in just some little peats, you know, the little jiffy pot things. And those are sitting over by the lights where the hydroponics are so that they, when they start to emerge, they will come out. Now, usually I have started so many plants by now, but we were down in Arizona and it's hard to move things back and forth, especially plants, even though I did bring a few. But I'm going to show you all about that. I actually have a live tonight. I'm starting a series that's called Late Night with Nana because Kids, grandkids, their friends call me Nana. Once in a while, Tutu, because that's Hawaiian for grandma, but mostly Nana. And it's just gonna be one of those nights, every Friday night, it's late, not even till nine o'clock Mountain Standard Time, that sometimes people don't have anybody to talk to. So that's what it's for. We're just gonna chat. Let's go see what I planted. The things that I did plant, even though I will have to buy more tomato starts because I have a few little tomatoes growing, I planted some peppers, um, both hydroponically and in, in the regular soil, lettuce in the hydroponics. But the things that I actually planted in the little jiffy pot peat things um, were like my pumpkins and squashes. I'm not going to plant those out until in June anyway, especially with this cold weather. Though next Friday, it's supposed to be 83 degrees in Wyoming. <laughs> you gotta love Wyoming. But I will just transfer them from those little tiny ones into some bigger pots before I plant them outside. Now, if I decide to plant them early, I'll put walls of water around them because I did that last year and it worked really well with the squashes and the pumpkins. I was really surprised at how strong they got. So I will show you when I go to plant them outside because either way, even if I plant them in the first part of June, I'm gonna put the walls of water around them because the days can be nice. But if it's below 50 degrees at night, that is tough on a plant. And sometimes we forget that. We go, oh, it's 70, 75, 80, 90 degrees. But how cold is it at nighttime? It doesn't have to be freezing for you to protect those plants. If it's below 50 degrees, you should be protecting those plants. Those ones that aren't so cold hardy. Tomatoes, peppers, pumpkins, squashes, cucumbers, things like that. I'm excited for this gardening year. Let's go plant. So in the hydroponics, I'm using what they call rock wool. And it's actually spun rock that um, it doesn't have any nutrients, but in the hydroponics, it has all the nutrients that it needs. And these are some mini blocks and you just take them out. Now, if you were gonna start your seeds in a tray, you would leave this paper around it, but there's always a hole on the top. The bottom doesn't have that. And that's where the seeds get dropped into. And you can cut them apart. So if you're doing it in a tray, you just um, pull them apart so that it, you can lift them out later. I like to put my knife in there and just kind of open that up a little bit more. It makes it a little bit easier to put the seeds in. But I'm going to take that paper off so that um, 
I don't have to have that in my hydroponics. And I like to label everything on my hydroponics, so I'm just taking some big fat tape. And the first thing that I'm going to plant are micro tomatoes. And I grew these last year in my hydroponics. And these are some orange ones. So I'm just putting micro tom. And of course, I don't know what month it is. It's actually 520, not 420. And I'm just going to grab two seeds and I'm going to put two seeds of everything that I plant into each rock wool. And then that rock wool actually gets pushed into a little net cup that sits into the hydroponics. And I'll just take my knife and just drop those in a little bit farther so that they have some contact with the rock wool. So here's the micro toms. I only did three of them, so it's every other one. Last year I tried to do them closer together, but they spread out and it's just too crowded and they don't get as much light. Second thing I'm going to do is rainbow Swiss chard. We eat a lot of Swiss chard. I love the plant. I love the colors. And so I basically have the things planted in there. So the very top row is the rainbow Swiss chard because it gets so tall. Then the next one is the micro toms and you can see how I um, did them every other one and opposite in each row. And I have some peppers, then I have some sweet basil, what they call blue spice basil, and then some spinach. But that very bottom row, it's all lettuce so that we can have lettuce all summer long and I don't have to actually take some space in my gardens for lettuce. So there it is planted. The system is running and the lights are on. Then I decided to put those little figs that I'm rooting in, in between. So if, when they start to root, I'll take them out pretty early once I see some roots and plant them in some soil. If you were one of the guys that asked for some elephant food, the root system isn't quite ready for me to mail yet, but it'll be soon. So now I'm gonna plant um, pumpkins and squashes. And so I put the water on, they expand, and then I drained all the extra water off after I let them set for about a half hour. Now, I like to save seeds from my pumpkins and squash. Now, can they cross? Sometimes, but they all taste good. So I'm totally okay if it ends up being weird sometimes. So I have Big Macs, Petty Pan Green Squash, a French Pie Pumpkin, um, the Ghetto um, Getty Squash, some people call it a uh, Kentucky squash. Some people call it the 800 um, year old cave squash. And then the very last one is Boston Morrow. And that's what I'm planting first. They are very large. And so I'm taking my knife and I'm just opening that up a little bit eat more so it's easier for me to put those seeds right in there. And you see, I'm putting them sideways and then I'll just squeeze and cover them up some. As soon as they start to sprout, I'm actually just going to lift them up and put them into a pot until I'm ready to put them outside. And I'm just going to go through the whole tray and you can see them all in there. Probably my largest seeds are the Big Macs, which is on the right side and next to them, the Petty Pan are probably the smallest ones. Still a large seed, but not like um, the Big Macs. That's a huge fat seed. And see, I'm just going to go through, put some soil on top of those. Here's my other tray that I did. It has some more pumpkins and squash. Um, the warp pie pumpkin is actually a French pumpkin also. It's fabulous pie. On the right is zucchini. Um, I have a Long Island cheese squash. Some more rainbow Swiss chard that's going to go outside. Two different types of peppers. Both of them very large, very long. I am doing some eggplant even though I said I was never going to grow eggplant again. And I'm going to try Lufa Gourds again. Well, what do you think about that hydroponics? I love that little system. It's called an eye harvest. I've had it, gosh, I think I'm, it's going on two years that I've had it now. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think two years now. It's a fabulous system. I had to take it all apart when we got home. Um, there's a little bit of water in it and I just figured it would evaporate. But since we only had it, the house at 55 degrees, all I did was make algae. So I had to clean that all out. But I'm excited about the 2022 gardening season. I hope you are too. It's always a fun time of the year. You're
planting the seeds, it's emerging. That miracle of life is just fabulous. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you stop by at Late Night with Nana. If you're up, if you're not, you can always watch it the next day. And I will see you next time.